Okay, I am going to teach you guys how to do a saute without oil. The first thing you want to do is you want to test it to see if there's... Whoa, that's really nice and hot. That's the test. Normally I do this with water, but because I'm cooking Italian, I'm going to add a lot... Uh, I'm going to do it with wine. So we add... The first thing we add is the onions. We add the onions. And I'm going to do some Vidalia and some red onions. And you keep stirring until they caramelize or get translucent. It's up to you and what you like. When it gets to that point where it's sticky, there's a lot of water in the onions and that's why it's steaming right now. But so once that onion is gone, or the water in the onion is gone, we're going to add a little bit of wine. And this is wine that was left over from parties. Never throw anything away. And use it to add flavor. You can do this with broth, if you'd like. Or you can use um, water. Or you can even do it dry. Then, after you get to that point where you've got the desired look to your onion. I like to add garlic. This is my second go-to, is the garlic. Because we want to make this an Italian, so I'm making an Italian meal for the heel tribe. So I'm showing you how easy it is. So you see how now there's no oil in here and it's doing just fine. No one's going to die from it. I'm not having oil. And we're going to add some green peppers. Oh, no, I'm sorry, not green. Um, orange and yellow peppers. And mushrooms as well. I also have an eggplant that I wanted to add. So here's some mushrooms. We always want to cook a mushroom. Never want to eat it raw. Just keep the saute. At this point, you can smell the garlic and the onions and all the different vegetables. So we're going to make a vegetable, um, like a pasta primavera. And we just added some squash and zucchini. And we're adding some eggplant. So there's lots of veggies that we're going to use. And later, before we serve it, we're going to add some spinach. So I hope you get the idea. And because this is an Italian meal, you'll want to add different spices that will give it to the Italian. Um, I have some basil in my garden. I'll be adding some of that. And I will also be adding some oregano from my garden. But because I'm new at this, I didn't think about it, or else I'd be throwing it in there. But I can do some dry for now. Because I like a little bit of spice and a little bit of kick, we're gonna do some little bit of cayenne pepper. Notice I don't have any salt in here. The vegetables have the required salt. This is for now, it's parsley. Just gonna add some spices. Everything is organic. Basil. So it smells like a Italian meal is brewing here. So everything is steaming and cooking in its own juices. Once you get to that desired flavor or smell, you can add the tomato. We don't want to overdo the veggies either. 
So I have some crushed tomatoes. And then, and these are Italian. And some whole tomatoes as well. So I'm hacking this one a bit. And here we go. The start of our Italian meal. Very easy, huh? Who said it's hard to cook healthy? And this is going to go over a bed of spiralized zucchini. And it's going to be delicious. There you go. Look at that. So one thing that I forgot to add is nutritional yeast. About maybe two, three tablespoons of nutritional yeast. It'll give it that buttery flavor. And then I picked from my garden oregano and basil and I will cut it in there, okay? So just know that that's gonna be added in there as well. And then we're gonna add some spinach. Adding spinach and of course, the amount you put in, no matter how much you put in, it just is disintegrates into hardly anything. So this is the meal that I'm going to be serving for the Heal Tribe. So for those of you who want to take a look at it, I hope that you enjoyed and learned something today. Also, um, I will be adding the basil and the uh, oregano from the garden. So this is called the Vegetti. And you put the um, zucchini or squash in the vegetti and it creates this kind of raw noodle. You can um, peel it, but because this is organic, I choose not to. And we're gonna put our final product, our um, Italian primavera sauce on top of this beautiful noodle. And here's the final meal. So it's raw noodles, uh, organic, Italian, wonderful meal. Okay, here's my sampler. Gets to try the food. Mm. Is it good? Mm. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. Manja, manja. Good?